Yo, what's going on, True Fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's White Shadow, and today, guys, we're going to be talking about some chatbots you guys should be using in your Twitch streams. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so like I said, guys, today we're going to be talking about the chatbots you guys should be using starting out, I should say, with your Twitch streams. We're going to go over a lot of the details. We're going to go over why you should use these and um, the ones that I have personally used in my time streaming and why I recommend each one of these awesome bots for your Twitch channels. So let's go ahead and check out the list. All right, guys, so starting with the first bot here, this is Nightbot. This is the one that most Twitch streamers start out with in their Twitch streaming career. This is the one I personally started out with because it's arguably probably the easiest to use on this entire list. Nightbot is very straightforward. You log in and you can create, you're kind of greeted with this dashboards and everything. It's gonna show your top chatter, your top command, and it gives you a little bit of statistics here, nothing too in-depth, just chat stats for the previous stream. Now, you also have commands that you can set up. You have custom and default commands. Default commands are as follows here. You can enable these or disable these as you please, and I mean, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, you've got things like commands. It shows you a command list. If you're a partner, you can run a commercial filters for moderation, game, marker, poll, whatever. You can run polls and chat with this. If you wanted to add your own little custom commands, you can do so. As you can see, I have like seven pages of them here, but they're very easy to use. You just kind of customize them however you please. They're very straightforward. Command name, message, user level, cooldown, and if you want to set an alias to this, if you want to link it to another command of, or something of that sort. And you also have chat logs here, so you can go back to let's say 156 pages, and I can go back to February 13th if I wanted to. Now you can also see who your regulars are, but I don't really have this one set up because I don't use Nightbot for my regulars. You can also do song requests, spam protection. This is an important one in my opinion because if you don't want people link dropping and excessive symbols in your chat like I don't, then you can set that up here. Other bots do have this feature are and are a little bit more intuitive, but Nightbot is straightforward and easy to use, so I just tend to use it a little bit more. Now, another important one is timers. So if you have something like a sponsor, or if you just want to do a shout out on a timer to kind of give you a cue in chat to be able to speak up and say something about a certain thing that you're doing, you can do that, which is a really nice option in my opinion. Me, I have a couple sponsors and a couple of things that I like to chat about in stream. So I have those set up here. So a new one that I have been turned on to lately, uh, I actually use this bot currently, alongside Nightbot is Stream Elements Bot. And the reason why I use this is because the modules and everything that Stream Elements Bot has is some of the best I've seen. So starting with the modules here, you can set up things like Roulette, Raffle, Emote Pyramids, Bingo, Duel, 8-Ball, Slot Machine, Twitter, Emote Combos, Chat Alerts, and Live Announcements with Stream Elements Bot. And this is universal across a lot of the streaming platforms. So if you're on Mixer, if you're on Facebook Live, if you are on YouTube, you can use this bot. It's universal with a lot of different things, which is nice because in my opinion, bots should be streaming agnostic. You shouldn't have to have just one simple bot for each different platform. These bots should be able to work on all of them and Streamlabs is, or, and Streamlabs is one of those. So yeah, you get all of these fun little features for your chat. It kind of helps keep chat engaged. That's stuff I like to see. You also have loyalty settings, so you can set up all of your loyalty commands right here. And the best part about this bot is it's run off of their server. You don't have to download a client, although you could if you want to. But you don't have to download the client, you just log in via a browser and edit all of this stuff here. And another cool thing is that you have a leaderboard, so you can actually have this as a command in your bot to show the leaderboard, or they have an actual extension if you're a Twitch streamer to show the leaderboard as well. You can also do a stream store, you can do contest via the bot, you can do giveaways via the bot, and it actually sets a image and a video or a video, and it will actually pop something up on your stream if you so wish to do so when somebody wins. So this is a re really nice bot in my opinion. Um, you have tons of chat commands, tons of chat commands at your disposable with this uh, bot. You can set variables, you can set your own custom commands. I mean, there's so much more you can do with this bot over Nightbot, and it gives you a lot of customization. This one, I would recommend for streamers that have a little bit more advanced in their time streaming. 
but it's also a very good one to get started with when it comes to streaming. So yeah, I would definitely give those one a look, even if you are a new streamer, because Stream Elements has built a fantastic bot here. I personally love it, and it works flawlessly every time I go live. So definitely give Stream Elements a uh, try if you're looking for your next bot, or a new bot. So the next one on the list, I actually don't use this one anymore. I had an issue with it, uh, just the client kept breaking on me, but that isn't to say it's a bad bot, it just didn't work for my use. I know a lot of people that use this bot. This is actually Inkbot. So Streamlabs actually purchased Inkbot and their team and they now transformed it into Streamlabs Chatbot. This does have integration into Streamlabs OBS. So if you're a big user of all of Streamlabs services, this is a no brainer for you. So yeah, this bot is fantastic. It's gotten a lot of integrations, especially with Twitch. This is one of those bots that's a little bit more one-sided to Twitch. I mean, as you can see here, the entire list of stuff that they do caters more to Twitch than YouTube or even Mixer. That isn't to say that you can't use this for other platforms, but you will lose a couple of features like for Mixer, doesn't have Discord integration, and it does not have auto host. So same with YouTube, and you also lose the dashboard with YouTube. Do you really need it? Who knows? I mean, you can have access to the dashboard via Streamlabs OBS or the Streamlabs website if you signed in with one of those programs anyways. So I don't see why you'd need it on your bot. That's just redundant in my opinion. But yeah, it's a very good bot. Um, I had an issue where it kept, the service actually kept failing for me. And when I was trying to run a giveaway, the bot got overloaded very quickly. That isn't due to my PC. It's just due to the service and the cloud backups that they have very finicky and I still think when they switched over from Inkbot to Streamlabs bot they added too many features it didn't optimize it enough still a good bot just your mileage may vary on how big your channel is and how many giveaways and what kind of currency system you have running in there so keep that in mind when getting this bot test it out if you don't like it try something else like I did still a good bot still awesome and the support for this bot is phenomenal so if you have an issue Streamlabs will be sure to try to help you with it Moving on to another one of my favorite bots, Moobot. This is a heavily used bot on Twitch and it has been for many, many years. This is also another cloud-based cloud -based bot. It runs in your browser, much like Nightbot, Stream Elements, and a couple of other ones that we're not going to look at because some of them are paid and I'm trying to keep this as free as possible for you guys. So yeah, Moobot's fantastic. Um, I know tons of partnered streamers. I know tons of streamers in general that use Moobot. It's very safe, it's trusted. I mean, when they say trusted and ethical, they mean it. This is one of the best bots for like privacy and things of that sort. Um, very, very, very easy to use. And it's got a lot of different modules, as you can see in this little blip right here, that you can customize and use for live streaming. So very easy to use bot. I would say this is another good one for the beginners. And this is a bot that will grow with you over time, much like Stream Elements much like Streamlabs chatbot. This one is probably the easiest to use outside of Nightbot in my opinion though. Still has a lot of the same customizations that Stream Elements and Streamlabs chatbot have, but it's here and it's easy to use. So Moobot, very easy to use, kind of the best of all three of those other ones and one that I highly recommend. I don't personally use it because I like the look and feel of Stream Elements chatbot a little bit better, but check out Moobot and see how it works for you. Moving over to probably the most feature-rich chatbot I have come across in my personal testing and just browsing all over the web. Um, a friend of mine actually turned me on to this chatbot. It's called PhantomBot. This is relatively a new bot. Not, I shouldn't say new in the aspect of it just came out. New in the aspect that it is now out of beta and a lot of people are being turned on to this bot. So as you can see, you have a plethora of commands and customizations that you can do. The list is insane for this. Cross-platform runs on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. This is a bot that you have to download though. I do not recommend this bot for beginners, but I recommend this for people that need a ton of options and want to run a bot that has a very feature-rich platform on it. Phantom Bot, I would say, has the leg up on Streamlabs Chatbot simply because it's just their support system and open sourceness of this bot is where Inkbot used to be. So this is kind of the new Inkbot, if you will. It's got tons of features. It's got tons of things that you can do. 
I mean, they've got documentation for a command list on Twitch. You can use it for Discord. Um, I will say this one really only works on Twitch. So if you are a Twitch streamer, this is for you. I would say if you're a Mixer streamer or a YouTube streamer for that matter, check out other bots. This one isn't for you. This is going to be just for Twitch streaming, but check it out. It's a great chat bot for Twitch streamers. And I would say arguably the most feature rich chat bot that I have seen. Now, I know a lot of you out there are going to ask me, yo, why Shadow? Where's DeepBot? Where is Batismo? Where is blah, 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 blah. Well, a lot of those bots out there are under a subscription service or you have to pay for them. I'm trying to keep this list as free as possible because not every Twitch streamer, not every gamer, streamer, whatever out there has enough money to go out and splurge on a bot to run in their chat full time on their Twitch stream. We need bots that are reliable to us and that have a service behind them that are free or are already backed by a paid service that can handle creating a freeware for us to use. So yes, the reason why those bots aren't on here, even as good as some of those bots may be, Batismo is incredible, so is DeepBot, they're both incredible bots, but I want to keep this list kind of condensed and free for everybody because, like I said, not everybody has money to go out and blow on a bot. Twitch streaming is expensive enough with keeping up our hardware and things of that sort. So kind of wanted to give you guys kind of a look into the free bots that you can use. And honestly, these free bots that I showed you are just as good, if not better than some of those paid versions. Phantom bot especially. Holy crap, that list is insane. But anyways, that about does it for this video, guys. If you found this video helpful and want to see more videos like it, be sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe before you guys leave the video today. I would super appreciate it. If you guys want to follow myself or True Gaming on any of our social medias, be sure to check out all of those. The links are in the description below, and I would super appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me on stream sometime. We're playing Anthem pretty much full time, and I love the game. So come hang out with me and check it out. Let's experience the game together. But guys, that about does it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, be sure to hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Why Shadow out.